Hey, Angry Video Game Nerd. More, more of this. Um, over on the main channel, we we watching uh, old uh, Charles Xavier give the uh, the, boot. <laughs> the, the, the boot. Yeah, because he's Canadian. Give him the boot uh, to uh, one of his team members. Uh, so go check that out. Um, but it put us in an X Men mood, and uh, let's check out some X Men video games from the past. Played in the X Men games like Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo. Uh, I'm sure I have. If they were out. <laughs> well, there's. Um, I was a beloved friend. <laughs> people, people would have me over to play their games. <laughs> I think I've had that. Oh. I also had an actual round yellow Pac-Man thing. Kind of off skew as far as height versus length. Right. Like 16 by 9. Yeah. A little handheld, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather do that too. Bye. <sighs> These are like the title cards I was talking about. Yeah. I remember one time in school I had an X Men coloring book and the teacher looked over and said, <laughs> There's women in there too, aren't there? That's kind of sexist. And I said, well, what's wrong with being sexy? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but I've always remembered that because it's a good point. I guess X people just doesn't sound as good. Well, anyway, here is the NES X-Men. Say that three times fast. NES X-Men, NES X-Men, NES X-Men. Well, anyway, with a concept like X-Men, you'd expect a great game or at least a fairly decent game, all the characters and powers and shit, how hard could it be? Well, we are doomed from the very start. Take a look. Somebody makes an X-Men game for Nintendo. Why in the love of fuck does it have to be LJN? You take one look at that logo and you just know there is no gold at the end of that rainbow. This, my friend, is the unholy stamp of death. And I'm about to do the unthinkable. Play it. <laughs> I'm about to stick this abomination in my Nintendo. Rather stick it. That's a euphemism. <laughs> Here we go. Marvel's X Men. Yeah. Official title. The label calls it the Uncanny X Men. Wow. They say screw that. File it under X for X Men. Trash Canny X Men. First, we select a stage. Could there have been something a little more interesting than no. just plain text? Any other game would have had some kind of visual. Then you select two characters. Even if you're playing a one-player game, the CPU feels you need to join the fun. This is the most sensitive select screen in the history of games. You have to gently tap the select button, or else it flashes through all the characters faster than you can say fuck. Here we go. Wow. Look at this mess. It's all coming back to me now. This is one of those games I rented from the video store and wasted one of the weekends. Was that the, uh... Pathetic life. That was the night's thing. The other one was the uh, the battle in indoor. <laughs> Recycled <laughs> trash from LJN. Dun dun dun. That was the nights and goblins. <laughs> the castle party. <laughs> Cyclops looks the same as Storm. All they did was recycle the same character and color them all different. I think they were. It's like the Ninja Turtles, the first Ninja Turtles Nintendo game. They were trying. Well, not the first Nintendo yeah. Turtles game. The second one that had the arcade. They were trying to mimic the arcade game, I guess. But you can't do that with a Nintendo. Some can take yeah. a little more abuse than others or go slightly faster. But these differences are... He's got a motorcycle. The only difference is that some characters shoot and some don't. I got these. The ones that don't shoot are stuck with this indefinable lunge attack. Look at him. What is he doing? If you watch him, you'll see that the position is when he's walking. It just jabs forward. It's embarrassing. And yes. what character would you pick? Would you pick a character that shoots lasers? Or would you pick a character that just goes around nudging everything? So here's my I choose strategy. Storm. <laughs> Hurricane it is. That shoots. And for the CPU, you pick a character that nudges. Then, as soon as possible, you let the computer get killed. Yes. The sooner that worthless bitch bites the dust, the sooner you can be free. Because the computer does nothing to help. It just wanders around and runs into walls. 
Oh, well, I guess it gets stuck. you stuck. Yeah. You have to, you have to go back close enough to him exactly to get him through. Yeah. Nobody tested How could this have passed? And whatever you do, don't you ever give the computer a character with a projectile. Because look, it's like... Hey, boss, we're finished. You sure? Yep. It goes Ship it. Shit, and it never, ever stops. Stop firing and lunge, pal. <laughs> Fire it! Thank God. All you want is the computer to die. Will somebody please kill me! <laughs> when you're playing the two-player mode with a real-life human being, it's hard to want to find myself. Why do I have to pick two characters? It's a complete waste. The stages are just jumbled bullshit patched together into a disarray of madness. Yep. It is a Nintendo game and you're supposed to use your imagination, but had the game been designed well, you would at least know what you're doing. Right here, I can't pass through these tiles, even though they appear the same as all the other tiles around it. If all this clutter at least had some consistency, it would be somewhat acceptable. What's this right here? A hot dog in a bun? Or more like a pig in a blanket? And what's all this? Where am I? Spaghetti zone? I can't see anything. Frozen? What the hell? Oh, that's nice. His Iceman and he's frozen. That's like tying my hands behind my back. <laughs> and how can I be frozen with the character that's called Iceman? Oh. I'd be better off with Iceman from Top Gun. Now, what's this shit? <laughs> a laser barrier? Huh. Had enough of this shit. Well, after that disgrace, I'm happy to say there's more. There's person. more. <laughs> yep, another X-Men game on Nintendo. It's just called Wolverine. They didn't call it X-Men 2 or anything like that because I imagine they're trying to distance it as much as possible from that other <laughs> piece of shit. Because the NES deserves one good X-Men game. Does it? I bet this one's going to be much better because after all... I'll take <laughs> that bet. <bitch. laughs> it's going to regret it. It's the worst it's ever been. They made both of them? <laughs> There's yes. not enough alcohol on this planet, my friend. With a franchise like X Men, they give somebody else a try. I don't want to play this. I really don't want to play this. But I might as well get it over with. It's like getting a needle. It might not be too pleasant, but it'll be over before you know it. That's what she said. This is the Wolverine title screen. It looks promising. And no, it does. Well, it's a side scroller, and as you may predict, I don't think I've played any of these. That's fine. Oh, right? either of these. That, that looks. Well. It, it looks like the Spider-Man Sinister Six game, which I have played. I was saying just the whole. The, what do you call it? Castlevania series. Yeah. Yeah. But isn't there something missing? Something you'd expect? The putties. <laughs> His claws, right? Yeah. Well, the select button brings out the claws. From there on, you can slash everybody like you expect. You may be wondering, why in the hell would you not want to have the claws out the whole time? Well, guess what? I'll tell you. Sometimes Every you have to hold hands. You use your claws. <laughs> Help this lady you across the street. So that kind of defeats the whole Hurry up, bub. <laughs> I've got things to do. Shink <laughs> oh, <my head>. <laughs> Ducking is incredibly delayed. When you push down... You now do you see it? <laughs> <laughs> it's unnecessary. It makes it hard to avoid getting hit by something. Power ups, we have burgers. Yeah, what else could they be? They're fucking burgers. And we also have bottles, which could be anything, but I'm it's liquor. It's, it's Logan. Yeah, yeah it's barbecue, burgers, and beer. <laughs> Fuck you. How cheap is it to put the burger right on top of a, a propeller? What's up with the vocabulary? I've heard of an extra life or a one up, but free game? Now it's time for the enemy roll call. We have green rotary dial telephones, silver surfers in flying wheelchairs, silver surfers air guitaring, John McClane from Die Hard, the green <laughs> reaper throwing skulls, Frankenstein monsters wearing metal masks with visors like Jordy from Star Trek, and bubbles. The hit detection Bubble. is so bad. I try to punch the bubble, but I can never hit it. Before Pull your state. claws out, idiot. <laughs> 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 Grapes. <laughs> they deliberately follow wherever you go. Not only is it annoying, but it doesn't make any sense. 
Are these boulders self-aware? Do they know where you're standing? They're becoming they sentient. Like evil elf inside the hole chucking shit down at you. <laughs> the levels are designed to be as frustrating as possible. Yes. There's so many times when you need to jump down, not knowing if you're going to land on a platform. I hate leaps of faith. faith. You just got to take a shitty guess. It only works in Assassin's Creed. When you get hit. And only because you know you got something down there to land on. That is change. <laughs> I hope the, there's a barrel of hay. Oh, you hear the <laughs> with the eagle cry and then. Benefits are okay, but uninspired. These platforms remind me of those things from the casino stage. That would change everything with a leap from Notre Dame. You go around jumping on hoverboards and these things look like blue candy canes. Thick glass panes. It's confusing at first that you use B to swim, when in most games it would be the same button you use to jump. But the hard yeah. part is when you have to dodge these little propellers. It's worse than Ninja Turtles, where you can't touch the oh, electric sea. Oh, I doubt that, that's good enough. sir. They send bubbles after you, too. Look at this. It's fucking impossible. I'm almost dead. Gotta get the beer. Ugh! Had it up to my ass with this piece of shit. In conclusion, this game's way better than the other one, but it's still a pile <laughs> of dumb dicks. The X-Men game I remember most fondly is the arcade by Konami. Some versions had six players and a double mm -hmm. on the screen. That thing was a was beast. It was monotonous, but satisfying as all hell. Welcome to die. Welcome to die. It's meant to be the small kid in the yes. arcade. Squeeze between two big guys. Mm -hmm. Dazzler. Um, it was never released on a home console. It mm -hmm. suffered the same fate as Konami's Simpsons game. Some might say these games would have been butchered on their home counterparts. But if you look at how well Turtles in Time fared on the Super look where NES, we are now. it only raises uh -huh. the question, why the fuck not do Emulators the unite. But oh well, at least we got a couple decent Here's where I play. Here's where it gets good. Things about them which are fucked up. Let's take a look. Well, the first game, you see it's a side-scroller again, but with good graphics and yep. a selection of characters to choose from. Mm -hmm. One minor thing I don't like Love Nightcrawler in that game. Yep. You still have to get out your claws. Yeah. What's the big deal? Why are the claws so taboo? Fortunately, you don't lose health when you use them, Bye. so it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> You're trying to kill your enemy. Mom comes in the room, look, the claws away. You do the code like normal, but oh, after that, you expect to see some kind of stage select screen. Pick a card, any card. The game starts up like normal. You have to walk over to these panels in the background, uh -huh. which now suddenly represent the stages. Yep. You have to go through the effort counting the one you want, Crouch down and hit C, and then it warps you to the desired state. Yep. If you know the code, what's the point of having to do all that shit? But the worst thing is that there's a stage where you're supposed to reset your genesis. Yes, you actually have to hit the reset button to beat the stage. But how are you supposed to know? All that happens, there's a big blue computer in the air. You destroy it and then walk around like a dumbass trying to figure out what to do next. If it would have said reset the Genesis, or at least give you some kind of fucking clue, that would be okay. It would still be weird, but at least you would know what to do. Not to mention, if you were playing it on the Sega Nomad, you wouldn't even be able to do that. You never have. No reset yeah, I never have. And the reset button on my Genesis Game Gear, yes. Too, was broken. Good thing I had more Genesises. Genesises? Genesis I. Is plural for Genesis? Should yep. I say Genesi? At last, we have X-Men 2 Clone Wars. Hmm. Clone Wars. Did George Lucas have anything to do with it? You pop the game in, turn the power on, and before you know it, you're playing the game. Hell That's yeah. It. No title screen. Not even the Sega logo. That doesn't happen until after you beat the first level. You don't even Fight. have to pick a character. It just randomly selects it. Yeah. What kind of game does that? Other than that, this one. it's pretty damn good. It's side-scrolling action on the Genesis at its best. Trying to but beat the one. boss. Wolverine's claws are out. Well, the main villain of the game. kick ass. We went from having no claws to having them hurt yourself to just having them retractable to just having them. It took us a long time to get there, but this one Ooh, that's finally the one got the claws. Right. When it comes to X-Men games, that's the one I recommend. But the two NES versions, stay away. Stay away as far as possible. They suck. They suck balls. This one sucks my left ball. This one sucks my right ball. Welcome to die! <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call this real quick, because I've been thinking about this lately. Ever since the Cowboy Collection came out, and there's some other arcade cabinets that 
you know, somebody is going to get a lot of money mm-hmm. or some con- constituents and form a company. And they're going to rally to buy rights to these different cabinets. Mm-hmm. Or they're going to team up with Arcade 1UP. Yeah. Who run the gamut already on that. Once the RK one up cabinets and I think they're on their down climb now. Yeah. There's there's no more profit sharply doing this and it's maybe kinda leveled off a little bit. Maybe dipped a little bit. Everything peaks and valleys, just a matter of when, not if, not when. Put them all on the PlayStation Network, Xbox, whatever. Mm-hmm. How many of you people are out there are going to shell out forty dollars? We have a credit uh, <laughs> f- on the PSN uh, for the Calabonga Collection. Exactly. I want to play this X Men arcade game. I've only played it once. Mm-hmm. At a Pizza Hut in Farmville, Virginia. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was um, Mortal Kombat. Uh, it was in Lynchburg. I'm assuming I can still say that. It's an actual place. What, Lynchburg? <laughs> yeah. It's a city. City name. We're good. Look it up. Google it. 